everyone, Delightful Dolls here. Quickly before we get started, I want to mention that the shoutouts for today will be at the end of the video and for now on in my videos. So if you want to see if you got a shoutout, make sure to stick to the end. So today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool Halloween costume because Halloween is right around the corner. So we're going to start off with drawing out the cape for this costume or the cloak. And I just start sketching out how I want my cloak to be and this will be kind of like my pattern. and then I cut it out. I also fold it in half to make sure both sides were symmetrical. And now I just outlined it in black so you guys can see the pattern a little bit easier. So my pattern is four and a half inches at the very top and by nine and a half inches long and at the bottom it's eight and a half inches and then the sides are just kind of curved to those points. Next, I'm laying this pattern on a black piece of fabric, and then I cut around it. I leave a little bit of room, it doesn't have to be really close to the pattern. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be folding over the edges. Then I remove the pins, and I flip it over so the bad side is facing up. As you can see, I have a different fabric on the other side, but that won't matter because you won't be seeing that later. Next, I take hot glue and I glue the bottom and the sides. So now, th so now there's a nice clean edge. Next, I'm taking my hood pattern, which is seven centimeters by six centimeters, and then the side is rounded. Now I take that same kind of fabric and I fold it in half and then I put my pattern on so one of the sides is on the folded area and then I cut that out. So now when you unfold your piece it should look something like this. So then with the bad side facing up I glue over that straight edge. And now I thread a needle with some black thread. And not the end. And now with the bad side facing up on both of these pieces and with the flat side facing up on the hood, I take good side to good side and glue that edge to the top right corner of the cloak. It's probably easier if you just watch what I'm doing because I'm not good at explaining complicating things like this. But I put a couple stitches and then I flip it over to the back. So the good sides so the good sides are facing each other and then I start sewing across the edge of that hood until it's about halfway. So it should look like this. Now I take the other side of the hood and again with the good side facing good side, I put a couple stitches in that corner and then flipping it over to the other side and flipping the hood so that the bad side is facing up. I repeat on the other side with sewing across that same edge. And I leave a little gap because we'll need the hair to get through the hood later. as you can see. Now making sure the hood is flipped inside out, I take my needle and I'm gonna sew across that open area, but leaving a little gap at the bottom. So I sew about three quarters of the way down and then cut it off. So now there's a little hole in the back of the hood in case we wanna pull the doll's hair through. Next, I take some black embroidery floss and I cut a long piece and thread it through a needle. Then I take the needle and I poke it through right where we just stitched the hood and the top of the cape together and repeat on the other side. And then knot the ends. So that the thread can't just slip right through. 
Next, to put it on a doll, put that string over the doll's head, and then you can pull through the doll's hair through that little hole we made earlier. And then tie the two strings in the front. To make a cool cloak for your doll. And as you can see, the hair sticking through in the back. Next, I'm going to make a cool scepter for the doll. So I mark a wooden dowel at eight and a half inches and cut on that spot. And then I take some black acrylic paint and paint the wooden dowel. You could actually wait to paint the dowel later, but at this point I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with the scepter yet, so you could hold off on the paint till later. And then I let that dry. Next, I take a marble and I glue that to the top of the scepter or the wooden dowel at this point. And then I take my hot glue to make some designs on the scepter. I wanted it to make, look, make it look like three kind of hooks were clasping the marble at the top. So I just do that on with my hot glue gun. And if you make a mistake, it can easily peel off of the marble. And then I continue to make designs all the way down the scepter. So I made a straight line down from each of those three clasps and then I started making a spiral design all the way down. And then I made the spirals go in other directions to make it look like it's not a perfect staff because I wanted it to look a little bit like rustic or something. Then I take my black acrylic paint again and paint all over this. Then I take a small paintbrush to paint the little clasps over the marble and be, try to be careful not to paint the marble but if you accidentally do just use a wet q-tip to wipe off any um, paint before it dries. And now you have a really cool scepter to go along with the outfit. Now you could keep the outfit at this but I, I have this little Halloween mask that I just used from this random plastic skull and I painted it and had an elastic on it. You could make something similar using polymer clay or you could use white glue and acrylic paint mixed together to give the doll some cool face paint. I started by painting the doll's face in complete white acrylic paint and white glue mixture. And then I used black to make a whole bunch of skull-like details. And when you're ready to take it off, it easily peels away. So I think this is a really cool costume for your dolls. Let me know if you guys are going to attempt to make something like this. I also want to mention that now I'm going to give these shoutouts for this video because that's my new thing. I'm going to be having the shoutouts at the end. So the shoutouts for today go to My Lovely Barbies, Kelsey Stander, and Octopus. Thank you so much for commenting. Remember, if you'd like a shoutout, all you have to do is comment something nice in my videos. Also, make sure to tag me on Instagram if you guys try to recreate this Halloween costume because I would love to see that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!